Hello and welcome. Uh, today's video is going to be a quick video, you know, very focused on how to center a shape string on a plane. So I'm going to be centering it on this plane. And before I get started with that, let me tell you a few things. So I've set up some dimensions to kind of help us. I added some draft lines to help us too. I'm trying to get away from having to do all this um, to, and, and get it to make it easier. So, but let me tell you how I set up these draft lines. What I did was, so you got to turn on the draft tool. I use the line tool and the centering tool. So if you do a line and go from here, once you get it to here, you know your line is perfectly down the center of that plane. Um, that'll work for you know a bunch of different shapes. So obviously, you have to you know understand that what the how to get the center of something. Um, so now I'm going to uh, move the math code print. But the first first piece I'm going to do is I'm going to center it longitudinally using uh, the, the bounding box because the problem with centering is is you know just from a basic um, our basic understanding of it we don't know how long this is from the end of this T to the beginning of this at so uh, I'm going to go into view and I'm going to turn on bounding box here so you see bounding box is true and now I can see the measurement is 29.53 and the height is 354 but the problem is it's the height from the bottom of the P to the top, you know, so it's the, um, I think that's called the gutter. I'm not sure. So first we're going to center it, uh, you know, longitude, you know, on the, on the horizontal here. And then we'll, then we'll deal with the vertical. The vertical is a little bit more problematic because there's no specific, or I can't, you, we can't easily get a parameter value for the height of these small case letters because I want the center to be right down the center here. Okay. So let's do the 2953 first. So I'm going to select my um, shape string and we're going to go to data and in data, I'm going to go to the position of the X value and I'm going to click function. So to get it right in the center, I just have to do 1590 because that's where our center is. And you can, you can arrange this math in different ways too, but uh, this is just the way I'm going to do it. Cause, uh, and the reason why I like it that way is cause it types easiest. <laughs> um, and click OK. So you see that's going to be 1.13 millimeters from the edge. And that's that's our text it's centered horizontally. So that's nice and simple. Now for the for the Z, I'm going to show you how that's different. I'm not going to put this in a formula because then I have to erase the formula. I'm just going to show you once. So if we do 480 and we do minus uh, 354 divided by 2, you'll see it doesn't get us where we want to be because it's centering, and even in then, I don't think it doesn't seem to be centering it from here to here, <laughs> excuse me. So it's, it's, it's using some value. I don't know what it's using, or I don't know exactly what this is measuring. And um, I want it centered in the, Z, in the middle of the O. So let's get rid of this. And I'll show you how I move, how you can move it in the draft tool. And I've covered this in other videos, but I wanted it to be in here specifically. So with the shape string selected, sorry, I wiggle my own mouse a lot sounds a little gross um, I'm gonna pick the center of the O so you need the centering tool selected and you need, uh, so uh, tr and why I have these lines here is because um, the selection tool gets fuddled befuddled with uh, what it's selecting oh there I got it see it see how hard it is to select sometimes I can't get the center of that O. so what you can do is you can just hide that that there and now it'll be much easier to get that center and I'm going to go to this center here, but I don't want to move it over. I just want to move it up. So I think I'm going to use Y. Yeah, because we're so you, you're going to have to get used to which axis you're working with. And you can see the task has been switched to Y only and it's a local Y instead of global. But when you're dealing with the values in the um, in the shape string, let me show you. Uh, it's global, not local. So you see it went into the Z here. So that can be a little confusing. So that's it. That's how I uh, currently center. Um, when I figure out what this measurement exactly is and how to how to get it averaged correctly or get it to the middle of this, I'll let you know. So I hope that helps out. I hope you uh, use text in your designs. It really adds some pop to them. And uh, I'll see.